In this tutorial we're going to create a pattern on a surface and we're going to vary the size of that pattern based on the curvature of the surface itself. So let's go ahead and create a surface in our front view. I'm going to draw two curves and then go to perspective view, move these apart, let's loft these and then I'll bring the surface into Grasshopper and then just hide all of this in Rhino. Great. And so the next thing we're going to do is divide the surface into points so we don't need all the um, grid lines and the U's and V's otherwise I'd use ISO trim and divide domain but in this case we just need to divide the surface into points so I'm just going to use under surface utilities divide surface and we'll plug the surface into there and then we need sliders for the U and V numbers. So these will be the numbers of points in each, direc each direction. We can just increase those. Something like that. And then the next thing we need is the surface curvature component. We're going to use the curvature of the surface itself to determine the radius of these different circles we're going to put on there. So we'll plug the surface in there and then we want to find the U and V um, points on that surface and plug them into the UV um, points on the curvature component. The next thing we want to do is put circles. So I'll use my circle CNR component and we'll place the circle um, using these frames. So these will be perpendicular um, to the surface and then what we will do is find the radius. So let's just go ahead and add let's do 0 less than 3.000, that'll give us a lot of variation um, within the circle radius and um, that'll look good. And then we can use the same frame for the normal so that the circles are aligned to the surface as well. So that gives us our circle. Um, now we want to be able to vary the circle a little bit. So let me go ahead and preview some of this off so we don't see it anymore. Um, we want to be able to vary this radius. So we looked at randomly varying it in the last one. There's other ways to do it, but in this case we want the circle radius to vary based on more or less curvature in the surface. So within this component curvature you'll notice we have the uh, mean curvature and so if we just pull a panel from there we can see what the curvature is at each of the points of that surface and then we can use that curvature for the radius. Now the problem is if I plug it directly in there we're not going to get a very good result because of the tiny size of curvature. So we need to remap those numbers to a size that's more appropriate for the radius that we want to use. So to do that you need to find the bounds and right now you can see this is all grafted information so that information all needs to be in one list so it can be compared with each, each value can be compared to the other. So we'll flatten, we will flatten that tree and then we'll use, we'll find the bounds of that flattened tree. So for example, if I plug this into there, I can now see the smallest value is negative 0.01 and the largest is 0.05. So those are the values we'll remap into the radius for this circle. So we need to construct a domain of numbers, which is this one here, located under math domain. And these will be our new radius values. So I always like to, um, make the smallest radius so let's say it'll be about there and then I'll copy that and that'll be my minimum number of the domain and then I'll figure out what the largest radius let's say it's something like like that so we'll use that for our, our largest number and this will be our new domain and then we need to use the remap numbers component so the target domain is this new domain we're creating and then the existing domain is the bound. So this is the existing domain here. And then the next thing we need are the actual values, which are these that we want to remap. And so that'll give us the values that we can then use as our new radius. And you'll see then the pattern will update according to the radius and the curvature. And then the last thing we can do, let's say we just want the pattern, so not the original surface, is we can add a boundary surface um, to this curve, and that'll give us little circles that are that are um, surfaces. So if I preview off all of this, that gives me this cool little pattern of circles.